guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I am Renee, and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell button so you know whenever we post a video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the surgeries our son Noah had. He had his second surgery that completes the first one like yesterday so that's why I'm making this video to give you guys a little update on him so if you don't know Noah was born at 23 weeks really really early and at around 25 26 weeks he started getting a really really purple color on his abdomen and the doctors at the first hospital said they did a bunch of ultrasounds and like scans and all of that and didn't really think it was a big deal but they thought it could be a big deal. But at that time, they said it wasn't a big deal. So then, two weeks passed by, and he still had that really purple abdomen, but he was transferred to another hospital for a total, total different problem, which was the PDA for his heart. And when he got to the hospital he is currently at now, they saw the purple abdomen, and they were like, why was he transferred here for his heart? Clearly there is something wrong in his bowels because his abdomen is super super purple so they did an ultrasound and an x-ray the same thing the other hospital did but they were able to tell that he had a perforation in his bowel which was really bad because all of that poop and stuff just goes into his abdomen and it can cause a really bad infection which he did have he had an infection for almost maybe like two or three weeks and he was on antibiotics for it for a month. When they saw that he had that perforation in his abdomen, they had to do surgery for it. And first they put a drain in it and they saw that like stuff was coming out that should not be coming out. Bella, relax. There's no one there. Oh my gosh, this dog. So a day after they put the drain in it, they decided to operate on him to get that part of the intestine and put it on the outside of his stomach so he can poop through there. I think it's called the stoma. So for the past two months he has been pooping through that like hole in his stomach and there's been like a bag over it that like collects the poop and stuff. So yesterday was his surgery to finally put his intestines back together and he can poop through his butt from now on. And the surgery went so well, he did amazing. It was really hard to see him after because they had to put the breathing tube back in for the surgery. And I have not been there today, so I'm not sure if they took it out yet. But yesterday when I went at around like 12, I left at like 4, they still had the breathing tube in there because he was still so like out of it from the surgery that he wasn't really awake and wasn't really breathing on his own. So they had to keep it in longer. But the surgery itself went really well. They said they were able to connect the like two pieces of intestines where they cut like the middle part off from, like just right back together. Bella, you're really bothering me right now. What are you doing? So it was just a clean connection and the surgery went really well, which is great because he could have gone home with this bag, but then he would have had needed surgery later on and then had to go back to the hospital and stay in the hospital till he recovered. So it was good he got this done now so that he can come home and stay home with us. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong. Um, me and Josh were so worried for the surgery and it's harder for him because he's far away so he can't just go see Noah after. But we honestly really trust this hospital and these doctors because ever since Noah has been there, they have been doing an amazing job with him. All the nurses come in every day and like... Hey! Hey! Hello! Did they not know I'm making a video? Hey! Stop! Come here! Come on! They're all super nice there and the surgeons are really nice. They make sure to like call you and update you and make sure you know what they're going to do so you are not like super confused. So the only thing that was kind of, I wouldn't really say it was something that went wrong or something they're super worried about is that his colon is super small but they only think it is really small because he hasn't been using it to digest food, not to digest food. I don't really know how it works, but basically they said that it's fine that it's small for now because he hasn't been using it since his poop has just been going out like from the 
Stoma. So hey guys, my camera died, so now I have to switch to my phone, which will probably have a major change in the quality. But I was almost done with my video. I just had a couple more things to tell you guys, which is that now that Noah had his surgery, all that he has left to do is be able to bottle feed, which he was doing pretty well before the surgery. So I hope these couple days off from bottle feeding will not have a total negative effect on him and he just forgets how to do it because it is so hard for babies to bottle feed. I did not think it would be this hard. Well, at least it's hard for micro preemies because he has to be able to swallow, suck, and breathe at the same time, which is hard for him, but he was doing really well before the surgery, so cross our fingers that he does well after. And then after he's done bottle feeding and is able to do it for each feed, he can go home, which is super exciting because Josh is gonna be home soon. So, sorry, my arm got tired. So hopefully they are coming home around the same time. The doctor did say it was gonna be a couple weeks before Noah can come home, which is around the time Josh is coming home. So I'm super excited for that. I really hope you guys hit the subscribe button down below and just stay connected with our channel and follow our story, our military journey, Noah's journey of life. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love making these videos on Noah or any of our videos because we do have people that comment on our videos who are going through the same thing with their baby or their pregnancy. And it's just like really great being able to relate to people. So if you are going through the same type of thing, do not hesitate to comment down below or message me on Instagram. I think my Instagrams are in the description or somewhere on our channel. They should be hopefully and if not i will put those in the description and thank you guys so much for watching this video do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big like and i will see you guys next time